Hi guys, welcome to the channel of love. Sagittarius, welcome to your December uh, tarot and oracle reading. I say oracle when I haven't got any oracle cards out. Let me just see if I can um, find an oracle card to end your reading with. Now this is going to be a quick message. We we'll get you an angel prayers. Okay. I have some other cards um, out organized I thought I was let's have a look and see what's on the cards um, for you Sagittarius for this December okay I shall use the random cards first let's pull three random words relocation My belly just went, mm. SOS. What's coming through already is for you to save your soul, you need to relocate. You need to up and like move your ass from where you are. Obsession. Bottom of the deck, treat. You are obsessed with something. You need to go to that. Okay? That's going to save your soul. You need to get away from where you are. You're in for a treat. If you get up. If you get up. Okay. Let's have a look at the channel of love cards. <clears throat> Itchy ear. What does that mean? What's that I've got on there? Looks like I've been rolling around in the haystacks. <laughs> It's not a feather. Normally I find feathers. That's like a piece of hay. Straw. Okay, now this takes me to the three little piggies. And you've got the piggy who made his house out of uh, sticks, was it? Then straw and then brick. Okay. A brick house. Let's get you a... Um, a channel of love cards. You can do this. I can do this. You can do this. The chariot's here. This is the divine giving you this nudge. Okay. So now you've, now you have, now you've got confirmation. You need to do this. What are you obsessed of? What are you obsessed of? The clean slate. There's a burning passion for you to have this clean slate. It's an obsession. Okay. You're going to do it. I feel you're going to do it. Let's look at these orange cards. I'm just finding my legs. Wait, let's get up quickly. <laughs> Bambi. I want to call you Bambi. Okay. In reverse, it says I'm taking this very seriously. And that's what you've got to drop is the seriousness. And this is about the falls here. Zero points. Taking that leap of faith. I'm taking this very seriously. Crossing the I's. Crossing the I's and dotting the T's. <laughs> Wrong way round. Okay. Dotting the I's, crossing the T's. Uh, you're ready. Okay. No matter what preparation you've been doing, it's time now. Your soul is calling for you to uh, surrender and give yourself a treat. The plague. Okay, I feel that maybe... I'll tell you what I felt with when the obsession come up. I felt the strong perfume of obsession. Then, then it took me to the strong perfume of poison. And we've got the plague here. Now that can take me in with the virus. It can take me in. This could be someone that's uh, put their life on hold because of uh, current world events or past current world events okay but this is a clean slate here it's a chance for you to do things differently and the thing that needs to be dropped here is fear fear of failure a fear it takes me to the root chakra so your survival your security your safety you are completely and utterly safe the plague and i feel that this is what's been stopping you you're just finding your legs okay i feel you're chilling you're chilling. 
you're chillaxing. It's like you're alive today. What about this moment now? <clears throat> Let's have a look at your emotions. Just all mischievous, it keeps showing itself. I'm feeling mischievous. Frazzled. And I feel the frazzled, the frazzledness as you keep going round and round in circles. Crossing those I's and dotting those T's. Crossing the I's? You're going cross-eyed? Okay. You're frazzled. The flower language. Beauty. Beauty and the beast. The beast would be the devil energy that's been prolonging this. It's only yourself that's been prolonging it. Okay. Tarot. Let's get you three tarot cards. Uh, trusting your intuition, following divine direction. The Torah. Meditating, re regenerating, rejuvenating, receiving divine guidance. It's like you can't think clearly, but the song was, I can see clearly now the rain has gone. I can see all obstacles in my way. These have been removed, all the obstacles. Well, you can see them now. You will remove them yourself. Um, I'm not sure what this means, but nobody wants to be held back by their own temptations. There is an obsession here that you can have. You're obsessed with it, but it's yours for the taking. And if you want something so badly, go for it. Okay. The surveillance card. This is the spy. The spy who loved me. Research. More information needed. It very much feels as if all the information is being given to you, Sagittarius, from all angles. In the middle there, in the stone, oh, a bit shaky, in the stained glass window. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh, dear. It's the Mother Mary. <laughs> Bottom of the deck. This is the Divine Feminine's energy. You can say the Divine Mother. It's more of Mary Magdalene. Okay, let's end with an angel prayer for you, Sagittarius. So that's what's on the cards for you. Um, movement. Towards your desires. It's like the plague is over. <clears throat> Rather than the black death, it's like the dark night of the soul is over. Count your blessings. Thank you, universe and angels, for the blessings in my life. And I was speaking about, what about today, right now? What do you have to be thankful for, right now? You're alive and kicking. Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching this. Okay. Count your blessings. The page was kind of stuck on connect with music. As you count your blessings, you become a magnet to even more blessings. When you draw this card, <clears throat> when you draw this card, the angels are encouraging you to see blessings in your current situation. It is important you keep yourself focused and aligned with loving experiences in your life, as this will lead you safely to the next step. The, ex the expanded interpretation. I'll just see if I can hold this card up without shaking. <laughs> Take some time to see the amazing things in your life. The angels aren't calling you ungrateful, but they want you to realise what you have in your life. 
It's important to focus on what you have rather than what you don't have because it will help you stay present, focused and open to the abundance of support that is there for you right now. Start writing down your blessings and give thanks to your creator for them. That's it. Yep, that's it. I will catch up with you soon. Happy birthday and um, enjoy your December. Until we meet again. I don't know how, I don't know when. <laughs> I'm going to finish your reading now. Okay, 10 minutes, 40 seconds. Much love. Bye for now.